Hey guys, so, um, today has been interesting so far, and it's only, like, 11.30, um, poor Walter, um, had a seizure about 9 o'clock, um, yeah, which means we need to take him to the vet and talk to them about what we need to do and stuff, um, I think, um, I texted my mom about it, because she's at work right now, um, and I think mom might want to just up his meds again, but, um, we'll have to see. He's been sleeping for about the last hour, um, like, his balance is still off and stuff after that. It was a pretty major seizure for him. But there's really nothing that I can do except just let him chill and just keep an eye on him and stuff and try and keep him away from stuff that he might run into and hurt himself. So, um, that's about really all I can do right now. Um, we don't have the money to take him to the vet for another week, like week and a half, so, yeah. Um... Hopefully he'll feel better by tomorrow. He usually does after he has a seizure. Um, so it, should, it just sucks because he's generally such a happy little puppy. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's what's been going on. I've just been hanging out with this little guy. Ooh, and I'm tired. I didn't get to sleep till like 4. And he woke me up like at... 8.30, 9 o'clock with having a seizure and stuff, so, I'm tired, but, you know, it happens. Well, um, it looks like Walter is pretty much back to his usual self. He's still kind of wobbly on his feet, but, um, he's doing better, right, Walter? And, of course, I did just did, like, the newbiest thing and covered the mic. Right, Walter? I'm not supposed to cover the mic. But, yeah, it took him a couple of hours. It's about 11.45. And, um, he went in my grandmother's room and laid down for about two hours. So, yeah. Excuse me, he's, like I said, he's still kind of wobbly. He tends to just stand there until he knows what he wants to do, so. He's just uncertain of, what he, of what's going on and stuff. I think he's still kind of freaked out. <clears throat> if I was a dog, I'd be freaking the hell out too, because, yeah. Um, I don't think I ever mentioned on here, um what what he has um what is behind me i'm breaking shit everywhere um he has um i think walter has some sort of like valve problem um in his heart or a heart murmur that's what it is i words speaking it's difficult um he has a heart murmur which he's had for a few years, but the last couple of years, um, he's had to go on medications. One of them is a, um, blood, pre blood pressure medication to bring his heart rate down a little bit. And I'm not sure what the other one is, but it's like a blood thinner. I forget what it's called, but yeah. Um, and those two things usually do the trick in controlling everything, but every once in a while, um, he'll start having seizures again, even while we're giving him the medication, which this, this will be about, I think the third or fourth time where we may have to up his medication. Um, generally he's like, he's not 
miserable at all as long as we're giving him the right amount of right amount of medication um he still plays like any other dog um he does need to take it easy um or else he starts coughing um i don't think i've ever recorded that but he starts coughing a lot if he gets too excited and we usually have to calm him down a little bit but he still plays runs around around the house and stuff so he's not miserable at all if he starts indicating signs that um he's physically like not well and miserable and stuff um we're probably gonna put him down at that point because there is a line where you, it's just um it's just stupid to um try and keep medicating him and stuff to keep him going um but generally he's a really happy dog and plays like crazy he's usually not this chill um except for like when he's sleeping um well i should rephrase that usually when my mom's at work he tends to just look out that window and just chill but usually when I'm cleaning and stuff and just doing whatever, excuse me, um, we'll play for a few minutes every couple of hours, um, but he hasn't played at all since I've been up, and he woke me up like at about 9 o'clock when he was having a seizure, um, because I guess he ran into like the coffee table or something and stuff fell all over the floor, which is what woke me up, so, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling for five minutes, um, I'm gonna go and stuff and things, and, yeah, yay, my house is clean for the most part, except for that stuff, why are you fuzzy, there, <clears throat> mom's been working on a picture painting thing she's been working on for a while so that's the only mess in here um I just didn't clean my mom's room in my room because I still have boxes and stuff to put away galore in my room but bathroom's clean granny's room's clean except for that box um but my room still looks like a bomb hit it but yeah the rest of the house is clean. It was just driving me nuts. Um, but mom wanted to clean her room because she still has stuff she needs to put away too. But it's it smells so much better in here. <laughs> um, I had to clean the sink hardcore too because um, we've been putting a lot of stuff down at the garbage disposal. Um, since we have a garbage disposal, we don't have to put food out in the trash can. So, yeah, that started stinking, but I put, um, one of the tricks that I learned from a friend of mine was to put about a cup of baking soda down the drain and, um, just rinse it down with just enough water to get the baking soda in there. And it works like a charm every time. So, I'm just letting the baking soda sit in there for a few hours, and I have candle going because I'm obsessed with candles, and that's kind of what's going on right now. I'm going to go and apply for some jobs on the computer. Hey guys, so um, I'm just getting ready for bed and stuff, but um, I just kind of wanted to show you what I did in the bathroom the other day um I don't really have the money right now to buy any like decorations and stuff so um I really haven't been able to decorate for like Valentine's Day and stuff like I wanted to but um I my aunt had left this huge box of like greeting cards and stuff that she had collected and stuff and there were there was like this pack of like 40 postcards or something and they were Valentine's Day themed so I just put them like 
taped them like all over the mirror in the bathroom and stuff. They're like Winnie the Pooh themed and um, I just thought it was really cute. Um, it's stupid I know but it was just kind of something fun. We do have like a couple of um, Valentine's Day signs that we've had for a while. I put those outside and um, yeah I don't know what's up with this. And, um, I'm going to go watch a movie and get ready for bed and stuff, so I'm going to go, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.